Hello everyone, this is Piyush. Welcome to my channel Precon. Uh, today I am making this video after a long time. In this video I am not going to discuss anything with any slides or pen and paper. Just uh, 5 to 10 minutes I will discuss uh, one very important topic related to the structural engineers. Or those are very much important in civil engineering stream also. Uh, actually, this topic nowadays becoming very much uh, research point of view and also an industrial point of view is also very much important. Uh, this topic is nothing but PVD. So, PVD is nothing but performance based design. Uh, it is the process by which we can predict the behavior, we can predict the performance of structure for considered load. Uh, on this topic, last year one of my paper is published in Spinger. So, last uh, 2019 to 2020, I have done so much of research on work on this topic. Um, so today, in just uh, 10 minutes, I will discuss uh, how we, we can perform that process, how can we can perform that analysis. Uh, to perform this PVD analysis, we need to study uh, FEMA 273 uh, and uh, FEMA 356 uh, because in uh, IS 1893-2016 is not explained properly. So according to the to, uh, FEMA 356, uh, after the analysis of building, we need to get some data. Uh, according to that data, we need to uh, identify the performance level of that particular building or structures. Uh, then we can say that building and that structures comes under which uh, state. Is it comes under um, immediate occupancy? There is some term immediate occupancy, um, life safety, and collab um, collapse prevention state. So this different state is there. Uh, you need to find this parameter according to that parameter. You need to put a graph, and according to that graph, you can uh, find out the performance of building or the performance of uh, any particular structures. So just five minutes, uh, within few minutes, I am just explaining the this few steps process. Uh, first of all, you need to consider the building. Um, it may be existing building. It may be newly designed building. Uh, then you need to model in ETFs or safe whatever you uh, sorry not safe SAP two thousand whatever you are using. So uh, after modeling, you need to put uh, input data. Input data usually uh, for PVD we are using seismic data uh, we are nowadays wind uh, data also we are used uh, actually but uh, it's better to use uh, seismic uh, past data now the thing is uh, for seismic analysis there is a two condition uh, two analysis process one is static analysis one is dynamic analysis in static analysis you can use a uh, pushover analysis that is uh, called as nonlinear static analysis and also you can do the, mm, the dynamic analysis. In dynamic analysis, there is a two, three methods, response spectrum, time history. And also there is another one is incremental dynamic analysis. Incremental dynamic analysis, whatever I used for my paper for or my work, I use incremental dynamic analysis. It is little bit advanced version, advanced version that is uh, one kind of time history analysis. You can say one kind of time history in this sense. Uh, in time history analysis, you are using one raw data of earthquake motion. In incremental dynamic analysis, you are using number of uh, earthquake motion data. So that is the difference in time history and incremental uh, dynamic analysis. Time history is a normal dynamic analysis. So um, by this, after this input, uh, you will get. Uh, the analysis result according to analysis result you need to um, plot a graph between uh, intensity and uh, displacement according to that graph you can put in uh, the graph given by um, 
fema 356 on that uh, case you need to, in that case you can compare with that graph and you can find out the state level of the performance uh, building performance level so i will i will try to make one elaborate video with uh, slides and pen paper calculations step by step step by step how we can do that performance based analysis deeply we can understand which method if we use it will be good for the performance based analysis is it if we use static analysis what is the limitation or uh, if we use dynamic analysis what will be the limitation if we use incremental dynamic analysis what will be the um, limitation so uh, i'll try i'll try to make one long video to prepare long video and I'll uh, come with that. Thank you so much.